I hope you had a good weekend. You know, I, I want to tell you uh, just a quick story about my personal life. My wife last night went with a group of friends to the Rose Bowl to see Beyonce and Jay-Z. Mostly Beyonce, but also Jay-Z. My wife loves Beyonce. I'd say she loves Beyonce more than she loves me, but that's not e that would be like saying she loves rainbows more than she loves a stomach virus. That's how not <laughs> close it is between me and Beyonce. So the show was at the Rose Bowl, and the last time Jay-Z and Beyonce were at the Rose Bowl, I went with my wife, and it was a great show. They sounded great. There are a lot of outfits, which you know I love, and uh, everyone had fun. <laughs> but that was two years ago. The world was different back then. And because the world is different, this time around, when we got the tickets, I thought, I wonder if I should go to this. I'm, not that my wife asked me to go, mind you. She did not. <laughs> She was all, all the way, she was planning to go with her sister and her friends, but even if she had asked, I was planning to not go, and I'll tell you why. 2016, oh, it was only two years ago, but it was a long two years ago. <laughs> Obama was our president, and at that point, women still seemed to be kind of okay with men. So, <laughs> this is before we had Supreme Court justice running around with their <laughs> out, okay? <laughs> so. Things between men and women were still relatively chill, with the notable exception of Beyonce. I don't know if you remember, but in 2016, Beyonce was smashing in the windows of every car on the block. <laughs> and if she was that mad then, I can only imagine what kind of arsenal of Louisville sluggers she's stockpiling now. <laughs> now, I am of the opinion, and not that she would do it because she seems to be a very nice person, but I'm of the opinion that if anyone has the power to start a gender war, it's Beyonce. My wife would do literally anything Beyonce commands her to do. <laughs> there were 60,000 fans at the Rose Bowl last night, the majority of them female. If, for whatever reason, Beyonce ever decided to say, that's it, ladies, these men are animals, they're never gonna change, I don't know about you, but I've had enough. Get in formation, it's... <laughs> it's time to kill every single one of them. On the off chance that happens, I don't want to be present, okay? <laughs> because I know that when it comes to picking sides, my wife is on Beyonce's side, and I'm at the Rose Bowl dead. So I stayed home with the kids last night, and safety first. That's what my Uncle Frank used to tell me, safety first. You have to think this stuff through, right, Guillermo? You know that. That's right. Guillermo's yes, wife, if Paula Abdul said to kill him, <laughs> right? I'm almost anyone. Yes. All right. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.